Apple just added a major new health feature to Apple Watch, sleep apnea detection. Here's how to set it up and how it works. By the way, if you're interested at all in keeping up to date with the latest Apple news, please consider smashing that subscribe button. If you aren't familiar with it, sleep apnea is an often chronic illness where a person may pause breathing multiple times throughout the night. It could also be simply shallow breathing or labored breathing and can often be caused by the collapsing of the airways in the throat. When this happens, you may not be able to get restorative sleep even if you're sleeping for enough hours through the night. You could be very tired the next day and quite likely snoring while you sleep. There's a number of more serious complications as well, such as increased risk of cardiovascular disease. Detecting sleep apnea is no easy feat. It typically requires what's known as a sleep study that monitors your vitals throughout the night. You can do these in a lab, a controlled environment, which is a bit uncomfortable, or you can do one from the comfort of your own home. I've done one of those. You get covered in wires that you put on yourself and then it's connected to a little computer, it monitors throughout the night, and then you send it back the next day. The at-home test will usually measure your breathing, blood oxygen levels, and your breathing effort over the night. Unsurprisingly, your Apple Watch can already do some similar stuff. You may already be aware that Apple Watch can track your sleep, giving you a breakdown of your different stages of sleep and how long you slept. I'm very curious. I've been wearing my Apple Watch for sleep tracking for literally years, even before Apple officially added it. How many of you out there also do? Sound off down below. They also just added the Vitals app, which monitors your time in bed, along with your heart rate, respiratory rate, and body temperature while you sleep. Using a combination of all of these metrics, combined with additional analysis, Apple Watch is able to detect these breathing abnormalities that may be symptomatic of a problem. Which is why Apple just added the ability to detect sleep apnea with only your Apple Watch. Only certain models of Apple Watch are currently supported for sleep apnea detection. They include the year-old Apple Watch Series 9, the Apple Watch Ultra 2, as well as the new Apple Watch Series 10. That means if you already had an Apple Watch from like last year, you may already have this feature. The only other requirement is that you have your iPhone updated to iOS 18 and your watch is updated to at least watchOS 11. To enable sleep apnea monitoring, you'll need to open the health app on your iPhone. Go to browse and search for breathing disturbances. As we discussed, sleep apnea is essentially labor reduced or pauses in your breathing. Tap the button to enable sleep apnea monitoring, which walks you through a few basic questions and steps. That's it, you're good to go. Now all you need to do is make sure that your Apple Watch is adequately charged and wear it to bed. It's another reason I'm glad the new Apple Watch has such faster charging. If you wanna learn more about that and the other Series 10 features, you can check it out in the video that I've linked here. When you get up the next day, the Health app will send you a notification if it detects any elevated levels of breathing disturbances. Some breathing disturbances are fine. Most people experience some of these regularly it's looking for higher than average. I also want to note that while Apple did receive FDA approval for this monitoring, it is not diagnosing you with anything. It simply says there may be something going on and it gives you this report that you can take and share with your healthcare provider. They may want to do an additional sleep study or maybe after seeing your breathing data, they'll feel comfortable diagnosing you and moving forward with treatment options, but it's up to them and you. You can see all your breathing disturbances recorded in the health app and can even see how they change over time. Maybe you're fine now, but it could always rise over time too. Just something to watch in the background, similar to walking stability or your heart rate. Let me know if you try out the sleep apnea detection down below in the comments. Did it trigger anything for you? Be sure you're subscribed and I'll see you in the next video.